of fear. I was afraid to go to school because kids would be mean. I was afraid to go to bed at night. Peril. At 10 years of age, mom and dad announced to us, or actually we found out at Christmas time, that uh, I, I got a G.I. Joe flashlight. Looked under the bed. In the middle of the night, my G.I. Joe flashlight. Looking for those ugly little puppet-like creatures that live there. Not long. Couldn't find them. Oh, I found unaware <laughs> and socks and toys that I lost. But not what my mind had told me was there. You see, it was false. You take the word fear and break it down. F-E-A-R. False education appearing real or false evidence appearing real. Most often our fear is false. It's a trick that our mind plays on us. In fact, our mind, uh, generally in a very forward, positive motion, is where all the creative juices lie. It's where all the good stuff comes out in life. Is when our mind is working in a very forward, positive motion. But fear is where our mind is working in reverse. It's like it's just dragging us back and dragging us back and dragging us back and dragging us back. Because fear wants to paralyze us. And fear, fear wants to destroy. And, uh, and, and uh, I encounter fear... In so many different ways, I mentioned speaking in front of groups of people. I don't know if you're aware of this, but I just did a survey on this about the different fears. Fear of snakes, fear of heights, fear of speaking, fear of death. People would rather die before they get in front of a 